Um, but our but our mirror will only help us identify the main class. So like, let's say mm-hmm. someone like like uh like Soot here, you know, uh she she's a sorcerer, but uh, also a little bit of warlock. So she'd probably still be put in the sorcerer category. It's true. I dabble in many things. <laughs> so I think the first one actually. Oh, oh, oh! It's Myla. Oh. <laughs> Myla. It's not an easy one to start off on either. <laughs> <laughs> Because we got a couple options with a kitsune in disguise. Druid seems pretty possible, but uh, also ranger. Um, um I could be a spellcaster too, though. I see my la between mate uh between ranger and druid. To be honest, she's I'm, got I'm thinking... the she's a kitsune shapeshifter. Yeah, I'm thinking the shape-shifting and the, the magic side of things leans more toward Druid. Yeah, for sure. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't think anything else fits her quite as well as Druid. Yeah, I think I think that's probably the best one. Would you say we're correct? Would you think that, Myla? Your little fox shifter. <laughs> I mean, I mean, this is our list. They can deal with the consequences later. <laughs> they can. They can. Um, where, where is she? There she is. There she is. I want to put. We're gonna put Myla and Druid. Oh, welcome to the Druid group of the Sipco Gaming Guild. Yes. <laughs> I am currently a Druid on the WoW on the WoW server. Yeah. Yo, know, yeah. You you play a lot of Druid too. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of classes in here. <laughs> if anyone needs a like a more clarification on something too, because there's a lot of spellcasters and sometimes they uh they seem like they overlap, but I can assure you they're very different. <laughs> yeah, I, I oh I forgot to read her her description by the way. I'm a kitsune in disguise. This may or may not be my form. Well, yeah that. That, that was pretty straight. <laughs> yeah, straight to the point. <laughs> Very druidy. Man, butt spot really has it out for Myla. It, it does. Yeah. Um, the next one <laughs> is Appleseed. They actually got in last minute. Hello there. I'm Appleseed, your friendly neighborhood gob, druid, con- connoisseur of many things, comfy, cozy. Okay, so that's already. <laughs> That's pretty easy. Some some people straight up told us, which is fine. We're still gonna like sort what we think like fits the most. It's all fun and games. Chill time until somebody time. loses an eye. <laughs> an eye, yeah. I didn't know what else to say. That's that's fine. <laughs> this is our first time doing something like this, A so. Connoisseur of all things comfy and cozy. Um, I love indie games, musical theater, t- uh, TRPGs. I like to I like chill time on my on my Twitch where we can relax, escape to bad things, and people can watch me suck at games. Um, mutual. Every time I stream games, like Core Keeper, which is meant to be somewhat somewhat cozy, I'm running around screaming with with my head off, running for monsters or something. It it doesn't matter. It could be like Stardew Valley, and I'm running around. In the mines, dying. <laughs> and I like to play Stardew with monster mode on, by the way, so I usually just go for chaos. <laughs> I'm reading this and almost thinking that, like, even though we know they're a druid, uh, they kind of feel like they might have multi-classed into bard. Yeah, I've seen that too, druid bard. They sound like the most fun people. I can't think of a good combination for that. A drard? Uh, uh, Bruid? <laughs> br- br- Bruid? Br- sounds like Brewer. <laughs> that sounds like a drunken <laughs> monk, to be honest, yeah. Um. Oh my god, are we gonna have, like, a heavy druid? She does a lot of entertainment things, though. She says she does a lot of, like, 
Yeah. She I mean, enjoys we should probably a lot put her of... in Druid, but I think she's part, like, she's got a multi-class and a bard, right? Yeah. Yeah. So mainly Druid? <laughs> I love how we're probably going to have a lot stacking <laughs> already. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll see what categories aren't too filled out in our guild. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is um for our, our guild, by the way, this, to see what ranks you suit. Uh, a Bruid. Bruid, yeah. Um, so that was, that was Appleseed. Artistic! I'm so excited. I'm excited for the, our favorite wolf. So, my, my name is Shadow, the Artistic Wolf. I like to take my master's drawing utensils so that... He can come pet me. He also made made me. He also made my wolf print headphones so I can talk to people. I also like to play indie games, so he found a retro Atari controller for me since I, I don't have thumbs. Da. So is artistic, mm. a wolf wolf, like, it sounds uh. like, you said um you refer to it as having having a master. So you artistic is just a wolf. I'm going to I'm going to assume not a shapeshifter or anything. Hmm. Is it a sentient? Like a sentient wolf? That seems to like to do art. Yeah, I was going to say art is a main that that would put it along the lines of bard, right? Cuz uh, the artistic performance. Artistic's a familiar. The artistic wolf's a familiar. Thank you, zom zombie. A familiar? Heavy? That's a good point. That would put you under the wizard. Yes. No? Um, I'm thinking hmm. bard currently. It's a harder one. Yeah, I feel like bard, like, because of the artistic part of it. Yes. Um, bard or wizard? Maybe, maybe, like, bard. A blizzard. Sub-wizard. <laughs> Yeah. A blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> Specialize in ice magic and be a blizzard. <laughs> I'm really seeing Bard because of the, the 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 amount of creativity artistic does. Um, they do a lot more art than games mostly. Am I on the right track? Yeah, I think it's. I think, I think I see I think a bardic at dog. <laughs> yeah, at least mainly a bard. You are very welcome. I'm trying to get through everyone, so if I don't, if I don't notice, it's just because so much is going on. <laughs> also, I don't do too many just chatting things, but I'm I'm trying to work and expand a bit more. Just work on that. Why not many? Uh, I think this is like what maybe our fourth. <laughs> we definitely do a lot more gaming. Most of my just chatting leans more into art when I do art streams, which I want to pick up again. So I'm right. putting, placing you in up. the bard. I think that's quite fitting for you. Um. Okay. If you want to go more melee, Barbarian is also quite fun. <laughs> a Barbarian! <laughs> they sound like fun people to hang around. I would definitely hang out with those. Those types. <laughs> oh, we got three people situated. Two druids and a bard. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who's this loser? Haha. <laughs> oh my god, just look at that hair. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Very gob gobbo. I do do you wanna do you wanna read it? Do you wanna read it? <laughs> <laughs> so uh I guess the short version is I'm Tweet the Goblin, an intern for uh, Mission Control on a Dwarven space rig, and uh, I love coffee and explosions. Hee <laughs> hee. 
I'm going to straight up just say Artificer. You're an I... Artificer. Yeah, I don't really know what else I'd fit in, honestly, either. He has beautiful eyes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I can't even see them through the goggles. Is Coffee <laughs> Chaos even a class? Coffee Chaos? Ah, uh, I mean, I could probably build a bomb that's powered by coffee. Clearly a bard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's also possible. <laughs> I can't be around for too long, cause life. That that's absolutely oh, okay. fine, zombie. If I'm she, happy that you're able if, to turn out. We're gonna be if they're here. On the list, we could we could throw them in next if they have to go. Actually, yeah. How about I'll just skip to you after, but just, I'm gonna be here for I most like of the, the day. Idea that, I like the idea that I'm an artificer and subclassed into bard. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. So let's um. <laughs> my my artwork <laughs> is coffee and explosions. <laughs> Wait. Did we not have Artificer? <laughs> oh, it was a later class added, so... Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> we need to correct something. <laughs> just, just shut up. We need to correct now. something. <laughs> or at the top, whatever. Doesn't really matter. It's fine, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Yeah. Just, just ignore this. <laughs> Nothing's happening right now. <laughs> We we're going yep. with the basic classes. <laughs> yeah, I forgot Artificer was added in Eberron. There we go. We have an Artificer spot. Because I knew there was quite a few techies. I, I, I do fix a lot of stuff for a lot of streamers. <laughs> Computer-wise. We're just skipping down because I, I want to do zombies before she has to go. Mm -hmm. There we go. And then we'll pop back up. How about my demon, Nico? By the way, I love your character. I love her design. I, like, I really love her design. She's so pretty and very glam. We don't have much of a blurb on it, though, other than a demon. Yeah, oh, there's more. There's more. Um, oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> I'm Chesh or Cheshi. I like creepy cute things, giant swords, calm atmosphere, and and giant swords. I I approve. Giant swords. I enjoy being cozy, having soft things, and hey, I won't say no to chin scratches or head head rubbies. I ye. I agree. There's mutual interest in this. Well, I know something that likes big swords, wears softer armor, and probably likes the rough and uh, chin scratches. I don't, that would probably be a barbarian, no? <laughs> I was thinking warlock immediately too, Myla. Well, warlock works too. Yeah, if as a what are they? Blade locks. Blade locks are. Oh, a good. blade lock. That is a thing. But you are a demon, Nico. Can a demon be a warlock? There's been one instant of this. Myla Succubus. The sub-barbarian? Yeah, that's true. Warlock Barbarian would be a cool one. Then you get the big swords. <laughs> so, like, it, it can work. Yeah. The question is, did she want more swordiness or more war, like, evil magiciness? <laughs> that is a Which good question. Go? That's a good question indeed, chat. That is. Is it Demon War? So it's possible, oh. depending on the circumstances, I'm sure. Like, or like, if you're a tiefling, yeah. you're you're half demon. Technically, you're half blood. Yeah. Yeah, it would probably be. Uh, I need to get classes of barn if I wanted to be a warlock. Yeah. You, I will class you as a warlock. Yeah, it sounds like a blade lock. You're right. You'll be a blade lock. Yeah. I like that. I like. Excellent. Oh, a couple wow. points and a barbarian for the bigger sword. <laughs> I feel like a lot of our artists get classed as bard, though. Like I'd even consider myself semi bard with my my yeah. artist artistry. Mm -hmm. um, bard is a really strong class too. <laughs> bard is indeed. Um, I played lore bard for a bit, and that was OP. So let's go, we're gonna, I'm jumping down to Oho Jockey! This is my favorite Hypno Monster. 
behold. If I had if I had hands, behold. <laughs> You're too much chaos for a bard, though. You've met Luna. <laughs> that, that is a fantastic smile. Yes. Look at this design. I have to admire the, the design on this character. Like, I love Oho Jockey. I, I honestly love your design. I love your character. I love everything about them. I, uh... I love the chaos. I may have a bias, but, you know, there's just something about wide mouths with sharp teeth. <laughs> and maybe I have a type. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me read the, the message. I'm a mischievous little monster who learned to harness the powers of hypnotism. It's my life's mission to brainwash the world with hypnotic nonsense. No one is safe. Blahahaha! So... I think we actually thought about this one a little bit, because at first we're like, oh, it kind of makes sense to be a warlock, but you don't have to be a warlock for world domination. And then we were thinking about the illusions and, like, the the type of, like, brainwashing magic, and we weren't quite sure if this is actually more of, like, a <gasps> wizard kind of kind of class. Oh, more people hopping in. Hello, Just a everybody. pause for a second. <laughs> Thank you so much for the host. I guess the big question is, does your magic come from yourself or does it come from someone else? Because that, that would really help. That is, out, uh... that is quite the question. Yeah. Or if you even know. Maybe it's an unknown source of magic. That is the question. Hello, Dusky. Hello, Serenity. It's all me. Ah, then I would probably say, like, a very skilled wizard. Maybe focusing in, like, illusionary or or uh, conjuration magics. I... A hundred percent, like, illusion and hypnotism magic. Is hypnotism magic, like, an actual sub class you can go into i know oh, yeah. it might mainly if, if fall illusion. into illusion yeah a lot of charming and and command and stuff like that yeah the alternative would be a sorcerer because it could also be like her bloodline that's giving her her magic i'm thinking sorcerer because this is a this is basically a hypno monster I'm not sure if they are like a patron them themselves within or like within the demon class spectrum. Yeah, I, I would say I would say they probably aren't a warlock because if they're dominating the world for themselves, then they aren't serving. A hundred percent sorcerer. I'm trying to think of the the different subclass of sorcerers because I'm a mild I'm a wild mage. I am a born sorcerer within the within my kobold clutch. Yeah. So I think uh, let's go with I'm going to go with like chaos sense. sorcerer here. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> um where is the the crazy that, dream that monster? <laughs> <laughs> Hamburger. Hey, burger? Om nom nom nom. <laughs> We're getting Our down the list. Sorcerer. Um, ah, we got two here. This is intriguing. <laughs> this is uh, an intriguing designation. I accept your judgment. Wah! It's actually a hard decision between... It was really hard. It was yeah. really hard. We got a couple kobolds here. And you know, I love, I love kobolds. Oh, it's a pair. Yeah, these two are a pair, so they they went in together. So, the this is Newt, and Newt says that they're more of a brawler, punchy gal. And the other one is Hrist, 
They're both uh, known as Kim Studios. They're again a shared a shared channel, and very lovely friends. Harista is very techy with their fighting. They love their little alchemical bombs that they make. So immediately artificer. Hmm, but they said technical with their fighting and then using alchemical bombs. They might have. They might be something with a subclass of artificer to make their. A fighter artificer, monk. possibly. Yeah. Um. There's no question about this one. This is this is a monk. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the first one's definitely the description of a monk. Oh. This was a quick decision. We got our monk. <laughs> Monk's actually one of my favorite classes. <laughs> yeah. Personally. <laughs> Man, I don't like. Are they because the, an alchemist is an artificer, a type of artificer? But like, if they are a combat heavy artificer, they might actually be a fighter that subclassed into artificer. That that sounds about right to me. It sounds like they'd like to use a lot of bombs, so maybe they it's, they um, integrate the bombs into their fighting. It's it's probably like a almost a fifty fifty split. I'm betting like yeah. half fighter, half artificer. Yeah, I I think yeah, it, it's hard cuz I would definitely class them an artificer, but if fighting's more their technique, especially if they were like a a battle master artificer, that would be a good. I'm I'm going to go on a limb and say that they're a fighter that uses alchemy. Yes, that Hey, look, they're right above each other. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds about right. Also, welcome in, everybody. Um, we're just in the middle of the tier list right now. <laughs> yeah. Welcome, welcome. And this is kind of, we've got a, a decent spread at the moment. Yeah. Um, this one did not give me a description, but I'm gonna go based on visuals. Oh, they're they look like a blood hunter. Sword. Immediately, I'm thinking like a Van Helsing type of guy. <laughs> That's true. There was a blood hunter class that was like part of Critical Role. We. That's kind of a newer class, I think, so it's not on the list. We have mostly, like, the basic it's... classes. Yeah, it's not normally used in D&D, either. Um, if I had to guess secondary though, if they are, like, the old version of Blood Hunter would have just been a ranger that targets vampires and, and undead. So I'm thinking hmm. maybe a ranger would be, like, a good... This... Yeah, he got... he's got the bow, he's got the sword, he's a hunter of some sort. Yeah. He's hunting something. He might be Look, hunting you. Looks like a looks like a man with a mission, you know? Just someone that that has a goal in mind and the weapons to deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like he crawled right out of V Rising. I won I, I really hope his target isn't goblinoids. I hope so too, <laughs> but he might be a goblin or of the orc type. Well, he's definitely a uh, green skin. <laughs> yes. I want to say ranger. <laughs> I'm I'm confident about this. Ranger. Yeah, I think ranger's good. Especially if they're hunting like something particular, a ranger would be. That is a hundred percent a ranger. Good. And their name was Andrew Freeman. Oh. Why well, there's a relation to Gordon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got another kobold! I think they're Ooh, a kobold. A yes, kobolds. it says they're a kobold. Did you did you put shinies out in the in the invitations or something? Excuse me? You know, attracting all these kobolds. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Maybe I asked around. <laughs> maybe I I put in a few words. <laughs> a few shiny coins. Um, Vori 
is a kobold that wanted to grow up as a sorcerer, but wasn't born with any magic. So probably a wizard then. But I found a shiny bottle and set free, set, set free a genie. Oh, I know where this is going. (laughs) We made it, we made a deal and now, and now I'm a warlock. I travel the world and help set people free and liberate some stuff too. So we know they're a warlock, but at the start, I would say they were pursuing the life of a wizard. Yeah, it sounds like they started, they started trying to figure stuff out like a wizard would. Hello, Ifrit! How are you? But I, I mean, if most of their magic's coming from a genie, it's probably Warlock. <laughs> Stupid alert. Yes. It's it's like one of those characters where you you started uh, one to two levels in Wizard, and they were like, nah, I want, I want a sugar daddy patron to give me my magic. <laughs> and then you become a Warlock. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. I'm great. I'm. It's debut day. Yay. We're rating. We're rating VTubers. We're giving them their assigned D and D classes. He's a wizard yeah. that. He's had to study magic. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we can technically put or... him in... <laughs> here and there about myself. Let's see who who's next now. Oh, this person had a really cool design. It is Omen. They're a a hell a hellhound crow hybrid. They say that I'm a monster researcher and collector who was transformed in, into one after a lab. Ah, I was transformed after a lab a- a- incident. Instead of rejecting my form, I embraced it, seeing it as bringing me closer to my objects of study. I love this. This this guy is it's pretty cool. A monster researcher. Pretty wow, edgy looking. Tall. I like it. I like the I like the color. I like the design. Kind of a scary lad. <laughs> a lot of incidents sounds like he worked with artificers, but it doesn't sound like he was one. Um what would wizards like to experiment oh, too? Researcher, yeah, researcher usually leads me I know, to think wizard. I know a wizard that likes to experiment. Checked in my form, big praise. I feel like it could be a wizard. I don't. They didn't really mention magic, but like the type yeah. of research, like especially with the the things that they're researching. Yeah. Definitely, um, I feel like a modern scientist is essentially a wizard. I know many wizards that like to experiment, and some of them make some pretty outrageous things. If if we're incorrect, then they're probably an artificer, but... Uh... Well, it's, probably, it's, it's, one or, it's one or the other, so we might as well go with wizard, because they didn't mention the... They create things. Yeah. In the sense that they... They're a transmutation wizard. That's it. The wizards that actually... The tentacle wizards, I like to call them. <laughs> the, the almost warlock, not quite warlocks? Yes. That is that is his, his class. <laughs> it's pretty... Uh... Sorry, the, the Wi-Fi up here on the space rig has me on a slight delay. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh oh! Wow, that does look like a druid. Oh, um, very wild. They could. Hmm. They. I mean, they could also just be a beast folk, in which case they they might even be a barbarian, <laughs> or or a monk. A beast folk barbarian. They just seem they very seem very aggressive and ready for battle. They're yeah. ready to pounce at any moment. And Rar is almost like the barbarian battle cry, you know. You know what? Yeah, um, cat folk barbarian. Yeah, seems like that. Let's throw you up there. Our f- our first uh. We got we're starting to get a little bit of everything here. Hmm. Wow, warlock and druid are actually they got the most at the moment. Excellent. We got 
our lovely nymph of the wilds, Dusky Pink. So the interesting one here, though, was were they a druid or were they more of a cleric? They're, oh, these dus are their different pink. forms. Yeah. Her different forms. She's also oh, um, quite the artist as well. Oh, yeah. Druid Bard might be a better... Well, let me read the the text here. I'm an ancient wood nymph. Uh, it, forgive me if I if I don't read this correctly. Is it Shiren? Sh Shirian? What? Oh boy. Sure. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with an ancient wood nymph that's a protector of the woodlands, and and the dark hollow. I am commonly known among the mortals as Dusky or Dusky Pink. I take different forms as necessary, and I change through the seasons. Shirian way. Hmm. Ah, okay. Shirian way. Thank you for the correction. I, f I feel so bad when I butcher things, especially names. Um, I almost... I, I know ooh. this is going to sound a little weird. Oh. Because all druids, like, all druids do protect nature, so it's totally possible for druid, and that makes the most sense. But, just as as an alternative, a protector of, like, of, like, a land with a code of conduct for some sort of deity, which in this case could be the wilderness, that sounds like a paladin. <laughs> I know that's very strange, <laughs> but, like, yes, that, yes. that almost sounds like a paladin. <laughs> It also says, when threatened, my skin turns to bark. That that sounds even more like it. Oh yeah, or a cleric? A cleric's a good There one is too. such thing as a nature cleric. You yeah. can be a cleric of nature. Like I, like, I almost wonder if it's... Yeah, or like a nature paladin or a nature cleric. Because like at, at first it's like, oh, uh, like wood nymph, uh, you just automatically go to druid, but... That that honestly sounds like a cleric or a paladin. What do you feel, Dusky? Does that sound right? I feel your protective nature. Yeah, if she's more protective than, you know, I don't know, attractive, then it's probably cleric. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I did. I, I'm trying to think what the opposite of protective would be. <laughs> <Attractive>. <laughs> Let's move on to Zephyr. I think they're called Zephyr. Hi, I'm Zephyr, a world wandering vampire who, oh. who built an airship to share my art into, onto the world. I love that. So I'm already going to say Bard Art Artificer. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of cool. She has more druidic powers, but I'm interested in what you come up with. Yeah. Well, I hope Nature Cleric there, sounds there suitable. Yeah, you'd get a lot of nature powers from from the cleric as well. Although maybe maybe it's just you know maybe it's a cleric druid. That's also possible. A cleric druid, yeah. And you know what? There, she's right above druid. So <laughs> I yeah, just see her more protective along those lines. This one's a little. A little tough, only because, like, I obviously built an airship, so obviously artificer of some kind, but also artwork, which means also a bard of some kind, and bard artificer. <laughs> like, are they are they a bard that hmm. that built the airship to share their bardness, or are they an artificer who liked to make art and then used their airship? <laughs> I, I feel like it's uh, almost the first one. Like, I feel like they built it to share their art, which means they're probably more of a bard. Yes. I think their mission is to share their art. That sounds like a bard to me. Mm hmm That sounds very bardy. Yeah, I would probably go with Where's... bard and then their part artificer. They've yes. done some artificing. Yes, indeed. Indeed, a wise choice. There we are. We have found Serenity, our 
another protector. It says it right, right there. I'm, I'm a white wolf go goddess. I love to spend time with all my friends, family. My favorite weapons are my dual, dual katans and my longbow. Serenity as a very protective wolf and a paladin. Oh yeah, she said she had a an updated pick as well. Right. Um. Let me just. You see a paladin, to be honest. <laughs> I want to say Paladin. It it feels very suitable. Yeah. We got our first Paladin. Because her armor... It looks like... It is classy. It is classy. Ranger also sounds pretty good. I guess it I guess it depends... Like, um... Ranger as well. She always... Oh... She it always talks about also loving stuff. bows and being a hunter, so you're right. Uh that that hmm. could be that could be a paladin fighter though, because fight a lot of people forget, but fighters are really good at bows as well. Yeah. Like Ranger's more about tracking, hunting, and survival. I still see paladin, but I they can use bows too. Yeah, I I, I mean I've never really <laughs> I personally haven't seen it, but I'm sure paladins can use bows. <laughs> there's probably there's probably some paladins out there. Or using bows. ranger, and she ranger fighter multiclass. Maybe yes. Yeah, that's we true. haven't ranger really fighter multiclass. Hmm. That's another good. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's too this many. This is a hard one. Serenity. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait. She does also mention wait. that she 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 has like a. She she's a white wolf goddess, right? That would put her more in the paladin category as a. Here's the armor she like, sent as me. A clerical thing. If you don't mind me bringing it up on screen, this is the armor. I see more sword. Oh yeah, that does look more like. Hmm. Yeah, that's not. Hmm. This is I'm your. I'm not sure now. <laughs> this is your battle armor. Is this your battle armor? Oh. Me? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> hmm. It's just not fully done. That's that's okay. Man, I don't. Uh, I, I... cleric, heavy armor, godly powers, protective. It's so hard. The cleric might be good. I, I, it's very hard. Cleric Clarice and can also do a similar. lot of things. <laughs> I, uh, I just because it's such a hard choice and we don't have any paladins, that might be the, the reason <laughs> to put it in paladin. <laughs> I know, like I, it's, it's, I'm it's gonna. Very hard to think. <laughs> this is my reason for choosing paladin. Yeah, because it's it's still it's grounding. It's taking all those things I, I we're really talking like about as well. Yes. Uh, Paladin. Regardless, it does seem like she multiclassed into Ranger, though. You could be a, yeah, she's a Paladin that multiclassed into Ranger. The armor isn't heavy. It is skin tight armor, but very strong armor. Yeah, I was I was just thinking more so. It looks like you have the use of uh, weapons as your primary, because because as a cleric, you you would also have your weapons, but you have a lot more spell casting options. That's that's the only thing I can think of between the, the yeah because they both wear heavy armor or they both wear armor. Sorry, it doesn't have to be heavy armor. It's just armor. Okay. I don't know. That that's definitely a tough one. Paladin, it is. We're we're settling on pa paladin. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly a rogue. <laughs> My dual katans. Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh, man. <laughs> hmm. uh, I, I still think with the goddess part, though, paladin or cleric are probably our best two, and out of those two, probably paladin. Yes, okay. We're we're sticking on pally. <laughs> Just because otherwise we'll we'll be debating this for quite a while, probably. But, it's but true, rogue it's is also true. a good option. Although ranger is probably like the better choice at a rogue or ranger, I think. Because rangers also use the, the swords sometimes. They do, yeah. 
Well, their their main thing is their tracking. You can really use any weapon. Maybe like a a paladin, like almost like eleven to fourteen, and a, a ranger, you know, six to nine. Mm. Also turn it into a great great white wolf. Yeah, then that would. Well, I mean, that could come from either. If it's based on the the goddess thing, then then that could be through your paladin. Okay. All right. Oh, but oh, so maybe it's mixed with Troy. Anyway, yeah. Sorry, we should we should move on to the next one. But um, so this is Fera at Atmosphera. You got you got too much of a multi class going for us. <laughs> yeah, oh, that was a when we really debated for a bit there. <laughs> Remember, I also turned into a giant white wolf. Yeah, she she is a wolf. She turns into a wolf. Yeah, that that one I I kind of forgot, but at least you could argue that through the paladin because of the god thing, the rogue vibes off the bat. Off the I'm bat. an atmospheric oh, beast yeah, this, yeah. that became an elf. I oh, I have. I'm ha I'm having journey of life in the middle of the monkey forest, and they teach me how to become a great warrior of apes. Now I became the CEO CEO of my own monkey army. Huh. Okay, this is a hmm hmm. How does this fit into D and D? <laughs> life in the monkey forest. Well, there's what we were talking about with with rangers being survivalists. But it doesn't really make sense for the CEO of a monkey army. That's a... Uh... Huh. Rogue can It does seem very roguish to do the, I'm seeing... the monkey army thing <laughs> for money. And they do have the rogue look going. Hmm. I don't really think it fits into anything else, maybe. Yeah. Like maybe, maybe, maybe they're a rogue and then a little bit ranger if they like started off in the monkey forest. I was taking a sippy. <laughs> their their preferred species to steal from is monkey. <laughs> or or to use for money making is monkey. Hmm. They look roguish. Is there anything else that I can Oh right. I forgot Sarandi also talked about other powers she's kept secret, and those are probably divine powers, so that, that solidifies the paladin thing. Paladin. Right <laughs> yeah, that, that works right there. But yeah, no, this this one this one definitely seems like like a you're like zombies got it there, like a rogue, rogue. that is a little ranger. <laughs> I mean rogues are also good at survival too though. Ah, this is the last of the Twitter one, and then I threw a few extras in there. I really love this design. This is um Kaylin. Hi, I'm Kaylin. I'm I'm a comfy, cozy streamer, and I'm secretly something of a witch. Ooh, I immediately like yeah. that. I like that. Oh. Rogo bar it's type of person who would sell tomato based fruit salad. <laughs> Uh, yeah, tomato-based fruit salad. It's called salsa. <laughs> so this person uh, already identifies as a witch. So, sorcerer something. Yeah, well, witch is a sorcerer or a um, or a wizard, right? Because a witch can be learned as much as a... That's also true. As much as blood magic. But, it, but based on the wings and stuff, I think you're right with sorcery. Not to go back too far, but I found an oath of a... Of the Arrow Paladins homebrew class online. Hey! Oh, there you go. Oh, that's really cool. Too cozy looking. Want to cuddle the kitty. I want to... She, she looks very, <laughs> very lovable. Although there's no height specifications here. It also looks quite tall. Yeah. At least compared to Goblin standards. <laughs> Anything's tall compared to us. <laughs> um. Yeah, there's there's some cool paladin classes out there. Highly recommend. Oh man, for this though, hmm. I I think you I think you probably nailed it with sorcerer though. Easy peasy. Yeah, like like wizard is also possible, but it looks like they have innate magic. You know, like it doesn't look like it's a. 
I mean, they probably could have learned some too, obviously, but, you know. Looks like they were born with some magic. Yes. Oh my god, I forgot myself. I put myself in here, by the way. I for oh. I put myself in here. I am I am a sorcerer, or probably... I'm, I'm kind of a sorlock now. So... Would I be yeah. a warlock now? Would I... I feel like you're probably more of a sorcerer because your warlock is kind of uh, slightly involuntary from what you've told me. <laughs> that's 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 fair. I've had a fae. A fae has been messing with me pretty cleric much my whole life. <laughs> oh, a cleric or druid for a cozy witch. Uh, if they're worshipping like like Hecate or something, then a cleric yep. would work. Uh, druid if they're worshipping nature is possible. Yeah. I feel like druid's more possible, though. Mm. Um, but either way, a sorcerer would probably fit for that category. Yes. But I like those choices. Cleric and druid are make a lot of sense for a witch. So I think that was the end of the Twitter list. So... Got to put Tweak in as well. I am in. I'm at the bottom. <laughs> I'm the loser in the Artificer category. We need to do <laughs> my um we gotta we gotta do my VTuber mom, so I'm just well, gonna do, do another quick shouty. Do you wanna do the the, oh. the Zook and the, the Dawn first? Just to oh, okay. might as well save VTuber okay, mom. Okay, okay, we'll save that for last. We'll save that for last. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do Zook. Um let me just pull up some things. Save the strangest I mean uh the best for last. <laughs> 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 this is Zook. Here is Zook. Just so we have. He is our our uh, Kenku Crow buddy. You probably see him quite quite a lot in our streams. We were streaming Elden Ring last night, and you would have seen him. He's in pretty much all of our group stuff. <laughs> he is best burb, and he likes to stab. He is. Pr he is a rogue. He is. Pretty. He, he is obsessed with thieving. He is shiny obsessed things. of shanking and sh and stealing shinies. So like a hundred percent a rogue. Yeah, I don't. I don't even think we can multi-class him. To be honest. He's just stabby stab. <laughs> just bird, a pure bird likes rogue. to stab. <laughs> he does. So you probably haven't seen her around much lately. To be fair, she is a she is a very busy bee. She's a busy fairy. Or pixie. I sometimes forget. I, I feel kind of bad. I don't want to get cursed by more Faye, honestly. So I hope she just doesn't get upset. But this is Dawn. She is another fellow magical magical girl that likes to hang out in her streams. But I've never been quite sure on her class. If she's a druid, is she a sorcerer? I've never, yeah. I don't really know, but she does like nature. She does She's a lot of nature. Uh, yeah, fun loving fae. She is a very fun loving fae. Not as scary as some fae I've come across. Fae can be very scary. Like, don't don't mess with the fae. Um, hmm, this is a tough one. We, we like, we could, just because of our lack of knowledge, we could throw her in the druid category again, but. I feel like that doesn't quite. Yeah, maybe a ranger. There's no. She doesn't really mention doing magic, so ranger might be. Might be a good one for that. Yeah, I don't. She does S like nature, surviving but she in doesn't. the woods and loving nature. She was grinning like that. Oh fuck! She's probably a fae that turned it into a frog. That's also <laughs> possible. Y That's yes. Also Hello, possible. Zoe. Welcome. Welcome to the tier list. What a. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. That's a hard one. It is a maybe hard a ranger one. Ranger that's also a druid, so they could turn the person into a frog. Maybe. Yeah, she doesn't talk a lot about magic, but. Bleh. Bleh. It's hard. It's hard well, judging you know? friends. <laughs> the Fae like to trick us, so you know, even the friendly ones. Yes. <laughs> howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy, howdy. How's it going, Zoe? Alright, this is the final one. This is the final one. 
So I left Space Mom for last. Okay. So this is this is a very oh, that's awesome. This is a a hundred percent didn't steal. This is a <laughs> this is a very interesting one. So if you if you if you all know Stella Luna, um, she's a planet. She is a planet. That's correct. She, she she is a she is a planet that turns into what you see here. Like she can change her <laughs> size and everything, but she she's a planet at heart, you know. So she's very big. Yeah, yeah, definitely like Sailor Moon in, inspiration. But um, we we had to really think about this because we're like, okay, well, may, she's definitely a magic. So like that's immediately gets rid of the non magic categories. Then we're like, yeah, like uh, I, 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 that's what we thought. Celestial Warlock was where we went next. Yeah, because yeah. We're, cause we're like, <laughs> okay, you know, getting the power from, from the the planet or the moon or whatever. But here's the problem: she is the planet. She is the planet. <laughs> so she is a whole planet. So we were wondering, maybe she's the patron, and not the warlock. <laughs> You know, like maybe, yeah, maybe she is the patron. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. So, so I think we need to add a add a category. And... We're gonna. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna I, add a, another category. I, I, I think I think she's the patron to other other warlocks. I mean, I mean, there's she definitely has at least one warlock under her. I, I hear. I, I think Mr. Underhill might be a warlock. <laughs> I didn't put in, him in here. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. I just, <laughs> just. Oh, but he reference. might be, I, be a warlock. He yes. he might be the warlock that's following this patron. <laughs> Big, Big mommy, mommy planet. planet, please give me Eldritch Blast. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I'm gonna like. Patron. <laughs> There you go. Now, now you can all get warlock eldritch blasts from from the Stella <laughs> Luna, the Stella Luna patron planet. <laughs> oh, amazing! Look at this. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> I, I I think that's a pretty good. Li we actually got a variety here. I wasn't expecting. I wasn't sure. As much so you probably haven't seen her around much lately. To be fair, she is a she is a very busy bee. She's a busy fairy, or pixie. I sometimes forget. I, I feel kind of bad. I don't want to get cursed by more fae, honestly. So I hope she just doesn't get upset. But this is Dawn. She is another fellow magical magical girl that likes to hang out in her streams. But I've never been quite sure on her class. If she's a druid, is she a sorcerer? I've never, yeah. I don't really know. But she does like nature. She does she's a lot of nature. Uh, yeah, fun loving fae. She is a very fun loving fae. Not as scary as some fae I've come across. Fae can be very scary. Like, don't, don't mess with the fae. Um, hmm, this is a tough one. We we like we could just because of our lack of knowledge, we could throw her in the druid category again. But I feel like that doesn't quite. Yeah, maybe a ranger. There's no. She doesn't really mention doing magic, so ranger might be. Might be a good one for that. Yeah, I don't. She does S like nature. Surviving but she in the doesn't. woods and loving nature. She was grin like that. And all fuck. She's probably a fae that turned it into a frog. That's also <laughs> possible. That's yes. Also Hello, possible. Zoe. Welcome. Welcome to the tier list. What a... Hmm. Yeah, maybe... Hmm. That's a hard one. It is <laughs> a hard one. Maybe a ranger one. that's also a druid so they could turn the person into a frog? Maybe? Yeah, she doesn't talk a lot about magic, but... Bleh. Bleh. It's hard. It's hard well, judging friends. <laughs> the Fae like to trick us. So, you know, even the friendly ones. Yes. <laughs> howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy, howdy. 
How's it going, Zoe? All right, this is the final one. This is the final one. So I left Space Mom for last. Okay, so this is this is a very oh, that's awesome. This is a a hundred percent didn't steal. This is a <laughs> this is a very interesting one. So if you if you if you all know Stella Luna, um, she's a planet. She is a planet. That's correct. She, she she is a she is a planet that turns into what you see here. Like she can change her <laughs> size and everything, but she she's a planet at heart, you know. So she's very big. Yeah, yeah, definitely like Sailor Moon in, inspiration. But um, we we had to really think about this because we're like, okay, well, may, she's definitely a magic. So like that's immediately gets rid of the non magic categories. Then we're like, yeah, like uh, I, 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 that's what we thought. Celestial Warlock was where we went next. Yeah, because yeah. We're, because we're like, <laughs> okay, you know, getting the power from, from the the planet or the moon or whatever. But here's the problem: she is the planet. She is the planet. <laughs> so she is a whole planet. So we were wondering, maybe she's the patron, and not the warlock. <laughs> You know, like maybe, yeah, maybe she is the patron. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. So, so I think we need to add a add a category. And... We're gonna. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna add a, another category. I, I, I think I think she's the patron to other other warlocks. I mean, I mean, there's she definitely has at least one warlock under her. I, I hear I, I think Mr. Underhill might be a warlock. <laughs> I didn't put in hi him in here. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. I just, <laughs> just Oh, but he might, might be, I, be a warlock. He yes. he might be the warlock that's following this patron. <laughs> Big, Big mommy, mommy planet, planet, please give me Eldritch Blast. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 